and welcome to Web Intersect Part 26. And in this lesson, we're going to address the issue of forgot or lost your password. So, in case one of your members happens to have forgot or lost their password, then we're going to give them the option to generate a new password and get it sent to them via email. That way, they can log back in. And once they log back in, we also we already gave them the functionality to change their password to whatever they want so once they get logged in with their new password that they get generated we can allow them to change their password inside of their edit profile section which all of that programming is already at play and this is just a very simple method it might not be the best but it works and uh, let's see what I've done is I've put together it's not even part of our pages here it's just an untitled page and what I've done is I put in an HTML form with an email field here with a name of email and a button and a hidden password or a hidden field and actually we don't even need that hidden field I don't think that's all we need and here's a PHP output so this page is looking for so it's always going to print out for output for user and up top I have the parsing mechanism all laid out so what I'm going to do now is lay it into our our layout or place it into one of our pages so the layout is uniform with the rest of the site and then I'll explain to you line by line how the parsing mechanism works okay so I changed what I needed to change up top and I took a lot out because I really don't not have no interest in this page having indexing power that much so took out a lot of things that were unnecessary up top and now I'm going to save about the PHP that we manipulated here as forgot pass so that way I don't overwrite my about page forgot pass and this will have a PHP extension and then you'll see the about page didn't get messed with at all it's still intact like it was Let's close that about page. Now on forgot.php, let's go to the design view. Right here, let's zap out that table. If you happen to have anything there, zap it out of there. And let's grab the table that I created here. Well, you wouldn't be doing this, but I'm just going to show you my steps. So I'm placing a table into one of our blank template pages or whatever however you're building your pages on so within that table there is here let's get rid of this okay so we have form action so inside of the table is a form so in the form action is forgot pass.php this is this page so we're going to need a parsing mechanism up top so in the form we have and I'm going to show you that parking parsing mechanism in just a second so in the form we have that email field and our button the rest is just words and then we have a PHP block that's output for user so now let's grab our parsing mechanism let's go into this page that I made earlier just for this purpose grab the whole parsing mechanism and let's go up top here and paste it in now let's explain what's going on okay the first line after our PHP opening tag is we are initializing the output for user variable because the HTML section of the page is always looking for some output from that variable and you want to claim that so you don't get any errors in certain environments the environment I happen to be programming in if I don't if I leave that out I don't receive any errors and neither do any of my members okay let's see but some people might need that so I added so first we check to see if the form was posted so that email field in the form if it's coming in as a posted variable into this script and the value is not equal nothing that's what this is saying here then we run this code we include the database connection script and we take their email that was posted to this script and we put it into a PHP local variable then the local variable gets the strip tag run on it the strip tags function PHP and then we 
run the array geek place replace function then the mysql real escape function or string function on the email variable and after we run those functions on the email variable to kind of clean it up and filter it we run an sql query that is saying select all from my members table in the database where email equals this person's email and activated equals one we want to make sure they're activated then we run a mysql num rows function here on this email check or I'm sorry on this SQL query that we created here and we check to see what the value of that is and if they are a member and they have an email in our system then that will be a value of one so first thing we do is run an if statement to make sure that it is a value of one if it's not then they're not a member so we give them an output message that it's in red text and it says there is no account with that info in our records please try again and then none of this other else code will run an output for user gets sent to the HTML and displayed with this red text and that's that but if they are a member and this is equal to one then we can or yeah if it's equal to one then we can take the email and we'll do a few things to it we're gonna take the email that they've just given us and we're going to cut it the first four characters off the front we just want the first four letters off the front of the first four characters so we cut the first four characters off using this PHP function and then we make a random number using this PHP function and we set those together we kinda splice them together so we got email cut and random number spliced together as the temporary password makes good sense to me and so what we'll do here is hash this temporary password using MD5 hash okay so now we have their new password that we've created in, through this script here using their email and a random number and we hashed it up so it's ready to go into the database that way when they try to log in with it everything will work correctly so we hash it up and we're going to insert it into the database here here we're updating their password to what we have created in our script here that way they can log in because they've obviously forgotten theirs so they'll need something to log in with so we say update my members table set password or password field for this member and we put the hash temp pass right here in the password in their password field where email equals this person's email and then we gonna send them an email that's gonna be HTML formatted it's gonna have an HTML format and it's going to say your web intersect login password and then it displays it right there you see temp pass before you hash it up you grab that variable instead of using the hash variable that's what you display to them the temp pass that way they know what to log in with okay so the first thing we do in sending this email is set up some headers and we set the headers in such a way so it rec the person's email program will recognize it as an HTML format email any good email checking program program will notice this will recognize this and display this as an HTML formatted email some strange ones like if you're using your default hosting account email application like your one in one hosting or your GoDaddy hosting their default email applications they always are horrible um, let's see so this will give the headers well, the subject will be login password generated that's what they'll see is subject line and then we set the body to have some HTML you can put whatever HTML you want in there have fun with it put your logo your images you might not want to use images but you can have fun with HTML anyways but I just display the password there to them plain and simple that way they can log in then we run an if condition that says if the mail has been sent which right here it actually sends right there it gets sent and say if mail email subject body and headers 
is all successful, then we run the output for message the output for user message of your login password has been emailed to you with a nice color a success type color or if not password not sent please contact us it's really all you can do in that situation this really should never run this else should never run because this email should always shoot out okay and then we close off the else condition here right here and then the first condition here that's it right there so if the post email does not equal nothing then we run all this stuff to right there but if they posted email and it does equal nothing if they're being jerks and they just press submit or they happen to accidentally just press submit without putting anything into the form this else condition runs and it says enter your email address into the field below that'll show up in the output for user message it's a very simple script and uh... like i said the i mean you can just write yours out from what you're watching here but you can get to the source package after part 27 when I update I'm going to show you guys how to do remember me functionality for your login scripts that way your users don't ever have to keep logging in when they keep coming back to your site they're always logged in if they choose it okay we'll see you in part 27